Good morning. It's day eight on the Camino de Santiago. Frances. Morning. Can you see that? That is Saint Sol in the back there, that tower. I'm just in Torres del Rio. Um, I am Claudia. This is my windowless Camino. Thank you for watching. Welcome to my channel. Uh, what did I say? Uh, today is Wednesday, September 20th. Uh, just had breakfast in Torres del Rio. It's about a 20 minute walk from Senso, where I spend the night. Um, I'm heading off to Logroño this morning, 20 km. Uh, some hills, some downhills. My leg is doing okay. It's mostly the downhills that bug me. My cold is a bit better. It feels worse when I wake up and then after I have breakfast it feels okay. Can you see that mirror? Beautiful. Um, temperature right now is 13. It's chilly. It's getting up to I think 26 this afternoon. I hope by then I'm in Lagrano, where there's a wine festival going on. So I hope you all remember from yesterday's geography lesson what those mountains are, the Cantabrian mountains. Uh, so I'm carrying my full pack today. Yesterday I transferred most of my things in my day pack. And how that works is you can prearrange to have your luggage transferred from one albergue or pension or hotel to the other. Um, although a lot of albergues now do not accept luggage transfer, so you need to double check that they do. And there's two companies that do it. <clears throat> they do have envelopes at the albergues for the two luggage transfer companies and you just fill them out um, they are six euros uh, if you have that envelope it's six euros if you do it through the website it's seven euros um, what I did was um, in the envelope there's a QR code so you scan it and it takes you to the website so I booked my luggage transfer transfer through the website and paid the six euros and then I got I received a confirmation saying yep we're gonna pick up your luggage and transfer it and there was no issue when I got to Saint Sol yesterday my day bag was there and it was 2 30 I think they guarantee it by 2 30 um, you see a lot of people walking just with little day packs and they get their luggage transferred every day. Um, most of them probably stay in hotels just because a lot of albergues don't accept it. Um, and uh, what happened with me was in uh, Estella, Hui, the, I believe she's the owner of the hostel, she called ahead to Senso and double checked that they were accepting luggage transfer and they did. So it all worked out perfectly. Today, because I have a short day, I'm carrying my pack. And I know that a bit of it is just flat, so I should be okay. There's some downhills. So we'll see. Beautiful. The sun's coming up. Mosquitoes are out this morning. They're out to get everyone. 
It's been crazy. Every, you see everyone swatting them away. So this is a downhill, and then that looks like a little bit of an M uphill. So apparently it'll be like this all day. No big uh, uphills or downhills. It's just like rolling hills. And that in the blue backpack is Petra from Hamburg. We have olive groves on one side and wine. Vineyard, vineyard on the other side. Uh, we're entering the La Rioja region and leaving uh, Navarro region. And that's why we're seeing a lot more vineyards. So six and a half kilometers in, we have a little uh, snack stop. I guess that's someone set up uh, some snacks. We are here. We have five kilometers to Vienna, and then I have another ten kilometers to Lagrano. So I grabbed a banana. <clears throat> it was sixty cents. I gave him a dollar. That was really. Um, it's so it was in a donativo. You actually had to pay a whatever price they stipulated for it but it's nice to have that yeah so five more kilometers to Vienna and it's 941 three hours, 10 kilometers done. I'm going to take a break here and then I still have another 10 kilometers to go. It is 1030. Yeah. It's cool out. The sun is out and the sun feels hot but it's hard to explain but it's still cool. The mosquitoes for the past 10 kilometers have been crazy. They are hungry. Um, I have a few bites on my legs. They're even biting me through my knee brace. Um, so that wasn't fun. But other than that, beautiful scenery. Uh, and fairly okay. A few steep downhills, uh, but nothing too bad. In Vienna, assuming this is their Bullside Marina, not 
a hockey ring. So today is Saint Matteo, uh, which is the patron saint of, uh, I believe, Le Grigno. Uh, so it's a holiday. This is Vienna, so I'm not sure if stuff's open here or not. And I guess that's why to Le Grigno is fully booked, September 20th. Um, yeah, so Suzanne is staying in Vienna because she couldn't find anything in Le Grigno. Oh, Pilgrim store. Cool. Hiking 16 euros. Even a backpack. Tons of shoes. Camino buffs. You can get hookahs. I don't know that brand. Oh, it is a hookah. It's a boot. just had my second break of the day, uh, about 25 minutes. Oh, here is where they have the football. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Ooh, panaderia. Mm -hmm. um, I had a... Sorry, I'm distracted by all the bakeries. They have some delicious stuff. Um, I had a cafe con leche and a tortilla de batata. Thank you, Clyde the Glide, for um, buying me a cafe con leche and a tortilla de batata today. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So, just walking out of um, Vienna. It's very beautiful. I have another 10 kilometers to go to Le Grigno with uh, no stop. See some of the old painting up there. beautiful little garden back here. If you're staying in Vienna, this would be a great place to just take a nap, hang out. But I gotta get going. 
10 more K to go. Uh, no resources for the next 10K. I'm pretty sure I still have enough water. Did I check? No, but I'm guessing I do. 10K should probably take me two hours. It's 11.30. So hopefully I'll be in Legroño by 10.30. I mean, sorry, 1.30. Do you guys see what I see? Uh, we're in Viana. We're going to Logroño. Look. Oh yeah, I love a straight line. Beautiful. I don't know what Muga is, but I don't think it's a stop. Um, so seven and a half plus four. Oh, they lied. It's actually uh, eleven and a half kilometers without any resources. Yep. Sorry. Here. like 11 20 and who do I see the sisters and Anna sitting on the side at a cafe enjoying a cold beer very cute so I chatted with them for a bit they are covered in mosquito bites quite bad they were like oozing stuff out and Anna this morning she woke up and her eye was all swollen from a mosquito bite so they've been quite bad the past few days. Uh, I only found them this morning to be bad, but uh, yeah, they're very cute. Um, so they're going on to look right now, same as me, and I'll probably see them tonight. We're hoping to make it there by lunchtime. Um, so we might run into them and maybe we'll have lunch together. That would be nice. I want to do a shout out to Cousin Bonnie. Uh, she follows me on Instagram. I'm not sure if she's watching my YouTube videos. But she said my training video of walking the Beltline Trail has inspired her. And she's going to walk it on Thursday. I believe she said Thursday. And she's very excited. And that will be like her Camino. I think it's fantastic, Cousin Bonnie. I actually think you should come and walk her Camino. You would love it. You would love meeting all the people. And you would love drinking the wine. Uh, if you're a wine drinker, it's a fantastic uh, region for you. Plus all the pilgrims meals include wine. And from what my fellow pilgrims tell me, the wine is quite good. So, it'd be a great world trip if you're a wine drinker. Since Vienna, the walk has been mostly like this. No shade. So 10 kilometers in no shade. It's 20. Uh, I think it's noon right now. I'm wearing my sun shirt. Learned my lesson from yesterday. Um, and my big hat. So. My sisters. I cut out the when you just come uphill. Goodbye, Navarra region. You've been good. Hello. La Rioja. Wine country. I don't drink wine, but hello. You know, the sisters remind me so much of uh, my mom and her sisters, that uh, dynamic. 
you know, especially uh, they remind me of my uh, godmother, my mom's sister, who passed away a few years ago. And a hundred percent, I know that if I would have told her, oh, I'm gonna walk the Camino, do you wanna come with me? She would have done it in a heartbeat. She would have come with me, no questions asked. So, yeah. Almost there, I can see uh, Lagraño. Big town, big city. And we all remember what those mountains are. Almost there. The river is really dirty, I guess, from all the rain they had. You are here. I gotta figure out where my hotel is. It's nice. I didn't know I got that. Um, has a fan, TV, I have a window, and a little tiny bathroom with a shower. I'm gonna close the window here. There. Whew, what a day. It's 4.30. I'm not sure if you can hear but I just uh, finished having lunch at 4.30. I had their menu of the day, uh, a Russian salad, <laughs> and then I had some pork and fries. I wanted them to hang out, but they were all out already. And then a lemon mousse, which was delicious. And just sitting here, watching people go by, it's beautiful. Sun is shining, very relaxing. I do have my laundry back in my hotel room soaking, <laughs> so I have to go back and take care of that. I want to hang that up and hopefully it'll dry by Friday morning when I leave. Yes. And this is how I'm doing laundry in my hotel room. I filled the bag up with water um, while I was taking a shower. And then I put a laundry sheet in, uh, it dissolved. And then I let it soak while I went to have lunch. Now I came back, I rinsed them out, I put clean water, and I'm just giving them another shake. It gets them pretty clean. I mean, it does the job and they smell clean. Um, I gotta do a better job with my socks, uh, just to give them a better, you know, good scrub. Other than that, it's fine. Good to go. So let's do recap for today. I hope you can hear me. Uh, total was 75. Ooh, too close. Um, 75. And that was 42 for the room today. Um, 21 euros for a late lunch, which has like the menu del dia uh, so I got a Russian salad, some pork with fries, and a drink. Oh, and um, lemon mousse for dessert. And then breakfast, first breakfast and second breakfast were both 350, which was a cafe con leche, a croissant, and then I had a cafe con leche and a tortilla de patata. I had a banana 
for a euro. It was actually 60 euro. I just gave the guy a euro. Um, try to remember what else. Did my laundry so I didn't have to pay for that. And I think that's it. Oh, I got this uh, this little Le Grignol thing for three euros. Everyone's wearing them because it's San Mateo. So I wanted to blend in with everyone. I don't know if you can see people in the back. <coughs> people are lining up over there. Um, they're going to hand out uh, wine samples. And the city is busy. But not as busy as Pamplona. Like it's more like the festivities are going on. Um, I love the city a lot better than Pamplona. Much nicer city. Um, yeah, that's it. Tomorrow I have a rest day. So guess what? No video tomorrow. I'm staying in the same uh, hotel, which is in the old part of Lebrano. It's very cute. Um, yeah, that's it. My cold, I think I'm doing a lot better. Uh, at night, the cough gets a bit worse. I was just talking to someone and um, someone told her it could be the dust <clears throat> that we get on while we're walking. Could be, I feel like I'm getting like a bit of a cold. Um, so I don't know. My knee did great today. No issues with my knee. Um, yeah, oh, my feet feel good. Everything else good. I'm happy I have a rest day tomorrow so I can rest my knee, can explore the city, um, and then uh, I'm trying to remember. Today's Wednesday, Thursday rest day. Friday I go to Nahera and that's a 29 kilometer day. <clears throat> so a long day. Today I carried my backpack and that worked out great. No issues at all. Um, so that's it for tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going to eat anything else. Um, oh, I did have an ice cream. I don't know if I mentioned that. That was three euros. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.